how do you do it? If you don't think they're dying quick enough or the coffee wasn't strong enough, just push the takes to the side. Your water is very warm. It'll melt the rest of the coffee easily. There we go. See that dark, deep, rich coffee? See? That's not the color that you want. Now, this won't take, but, oh, I would leave them in there and check them what color you would prefer. You can do light or dark, or you can leave some in there longer so you have a variety of colors. These are just about done, but not quite. Okay, I think our takes are ready now. They've cooked enough. I'm going to take my tongs and pull them out and dip them in, and put them into colander so they can strain. I do this semi gently. Takes are pretty tough, but you don't want to ruin too many with a fold. It's a little character, but you don't want to ruin too many of them like that. I'm reaching down in here, getting them all. Okay, this is all my MD8 tags that I've been done. We call these MD8s. Okay, I'm going to let this set for a while. While it's setting here and draining most of the water out into the sink, I'm going to start doing my next size takes. Okay, round tags next. I want to show you all, I did add coffee a few times. I went through practically this whole entire jar of coffee in this stock pot. If it was full, I absolutely would use the whole jar. This was a good experiment for you to see how much coffee you need and how much water. I love the circular pegs because they fit all of our little round stamps that we make that looks like little postage cancellations or custom made designs. We go through a lot of round tapes and everybody loves them. Put them down in there. I'm going to do the whole box. Nice and rich already. I'll quickly put the rest in and we're going to take those out right away. Drop them basically like this is so they're separated enough, like I said, to coat both sides of the cakes with coffee. If you just drop this thing in, they, they wouldn't look that great when you're done. Another item I wanted to mention is you really should use warm water. I've actually let the water cool off, went back later when I had time and threw some of the takes in there. And you don't get that warm coffee look like this. 
they come out with little grayish strangeness. So warmth that adds the warmth to the color. Okay, now these are taking the dyes very quickly. So I'm going to take these out right away. There's my MD8s. I'm going to use another colander for my circular tape. <laughs> but later is when you reap the rewards so and you have all these wonderful rich golden circles to stamp on. Okay, on to the next side. Looks like that's the last of circular takes. Let's go on to the next size and let these drain a while. size tag. This is a manila colored shipping tag. Compared to the white tags, it's a little darker. It takes the coffee dye fairly quickly. Because the strings are real thick and they come packaged loose, I kind of dump these in more of a, in a loose fashion. Like just get them submerged into the water. There we go. I love the nice rich color of some of these tags. They're finished. Submerge them in the water. I love it because the strings even die so nicely. They get them into the water. These seem to be a little more thick, and they also that might, might also be the reason that they just don't seem to stick together. They separate easier. A few more here and be done. These have been, been in here only about a minute and a half and they're ready. They started dark, they die quickly, and that, like I said, by this time I have a whole jar of coffee in here. So we'll put those in another colander strain. And then I'm going to show you how to do the fabric. Okay, ready for fabric? Okay, now we're ready to go on to how to do fabric. It's just a little different because it needs a little more um, saturation of the water or the coffee to go into the, a towel or something to, because they're more full of water. So here we go. This is my doily. They die very fast. I don't like my doilies real dark, so I take it out right away. Interesting fact. If you think, oh, I didn't want it to be that dark. Lighten it. Hasn't dried yet. Even after it dried, if you wanted to lighten it, you could just put it in the washer. It washes all, most of it. Wait. Okay, there's one piece. Here's my burlap piece. My coffee now is not as hot. It doesn't bother me to stick my hand in it. But if it's still warm, make sure you always use your tongs. Don't burn yourself. Look how quick that changed. And look how rich and beautiful that is. Because my coffee isn't that warm, I can do this. Put it over here. Here's a little piece of trim. Because it's cotton trim, it's going to absorb that fairly quickly. Here's my fabric trim. Took the coffee dye real well. Here's my light linen colored burlap. I'm going to put the whole piece in. I didn't cut it or anything this time. Okay, we're just going to plunge this 